Okay, I'm shooting so you can... What? I am shooting now. Oh. So you can go ahead Hi, and Hi, I'm Amy Greenfield. Robert Haller and I were married for 41 wonderful years. I, I, I just love him so much. I miss him so much. It's like a hunger inside that won't stop. I miss him. And this is a wonderful thing that you're doing, of, of show, giving a tribute to Robert. And I hope I can contribute some with some personal things and some work things. And um, thank you so much. Um, we met... Um, we, our, our whole marriage and our whole life was intertwined with filmmakers, the filmmakers, there were so many filmmakers that Robert helped. He helped filmmakers in the whole field when they did a, a an internet um, piece on Robert. A thousand people responded because he has continually helped the film, filmmakers of all sorts and bring, bring them together from different field, different areas. And I'm so proud of him. I just wish you were here now. I just wish, miss him so much you can't imagine. So we met um, because um, he started, he, he was working as the director of Pittsburgh Filmmakers at the time, and he started uh, something called the Filmmakers Network, where filmmakers would send their work and he would choose who got to be toured around the United States. And so I sent something called Dervish. And he uh, was almost not going to look at it because he said, oh, it's some ethnic dance. And it was not. It's, it's an avant-garde piece on me spinning for 15 minutes while the, the video is doing various things. It's 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 um, ch keeps changing light and direction, and and it, it comes and makes it goes until I'm possessed at the end of the film for 15 minutes, and I fall. I can't stand up anymore, and then I stand stand up, and I spun with a sheet, just a sheet, and me nude, and Robert fell in love with that, and then so he called me, and to to tell me. And that's how we started our acquaintance uh, by f telephone from Pittsburgh to New York. And then I get a phone call that he he wanted to invite me down because he was he had invited the the, the great filmmaker Howard Hawks to to speak and show her his work at film filmmakers. Um, and. Howard Hawks died in the meantime, and I substituted for Howard Hawks, who had just died. Yes, so that's how Robert and I met. And I came, I went down, and I didn't know what I was going to show, and I decided, well, I had a work in progress called Videotape for a Woman and a Man, and I'll show that. But I needed a different kind of deck that they had. And, and typical of Robert, he went around the city until he found that deck and he carried it by hand to where I was going to show the work. And he was always carrying things. The beginning of our relationship was him always carrying things for me. And so I gave this, to, and that, that's how we met. And a little while after that, he. He called and, and he said he'd like to come to New York and see me there. And um, there was going to be a, an opening at the, uh, the Museum of Holography. And I was making holograms. And Robert was really interested in them because his background, you, people don't know it, but his background was in physics. And he, he never, when he went to college, he found that he wasn't made out to be a physicist, and that's when he started getting interested in film and, and found film. So he was just thrilled to go to the Museum of Holography, and that was our f f first meeting. It was that date, and it was, it was wonderful with all the holograms. And I have one of the holograms here. Maybe we could get a shot of that later. Yeah. You do that. Okay. 
Um, so Robert on the first date said, I'm going to marry you. <laughs> and I had just been through a divorce and nothing could have been further from my mind. And I said, no, this is ridiculous. I don't know you. And he said, no, I am going to marry you. <laughs> and he said, you're the first woman I've really dated seriously and want to marry. And that is what happened. I grew, Robert and our, so much our, our courtship was Robert sent, sending me all the things he received about avant-garde film and I would get large packages all the time from Robert in the, in the mail. And, and I read and read all the things he was interested in and all the people. And I got started to get to know him that way. And finally, here's a picture of us at our wedding. We finally got married. This is at my parents' house. You Higher. It's at your parents' house? Yes. Okay. And we were obviously madly in love. And that was the beginning of our, our marriage. And we, we moved to, I was living in Soho. Oh, I remember what happened. I said, he have to move to New York. Oh, there's things in between that I've forgotten. I said, he would have to move to New York or the relationship wouldn't work. And he had wanted to move to New York. And just at that time, Robert started the, what it was called the National Alliance of Media Art Centers. And they had a meeting. He, Robert was always beginning, be, bringing the field together. And he brought people from all parts of the field, from Hollywood, from jo Jonas Smikas and the avant-garde. And they met in Pittsburgh to, sit, to discuss projects that they could do together. And Robert was the head of that. And at that meeting, Jonas decided Jonas needed someone to help keep anthology film archives alive. And he decided Robert was his man, that he was the head of the field and he was going to do it. And that's what happened. So Robert got this offer from Jonas. So he was able to, to move to New to come to New York. And, and soon our, our relationship really flowered and he was able to move to New York. And we lived in Soho. And um, we, every night he would stay up late with his, it was then a typewriter, and he would type things that he was writing. He was writing weekly notes for anthology of the filmmaker's notes. And, and there, so, so my, and he, my parents really liked Robert a lot. They got along, that was really terrific. And, um, so I had them meet me and my, Robert got along with them. And soon we decided on a wedding date. It was June 14th. And next year we got married. <laughs> and we had a wonderful marriage. And um, I'm, he, he supported my work so much. I just couldn't have done it without him. There was no way. It was just everything was recognition of what I was able to do, and um, so that was that was the core of our marriage. I don't know what else to say. It was it was just kept going, and it was so wonderful, and. Um, Soon, Anthology got him invited to Europe, and that was a wonderful thing, touring around Europe and showing films by Joseph Cornell. The, yeah, the, the Anthology has a collection. Joseph Cornell do donated his collection of films to Anthology, and Robert toured them around Europe, from Italy, from, from Bologna to um, Lithuania, Lithuania all around to Paris, London, and that was another wonderful high point of what we did together. We did so much together. And we, we, every time he would leave, I would miss him 
so much. And, but then he would come back. And now he's with me, but I still am missing him. It's like a hunger, I hunger for him when I'm alone. And um, he had a hard time at the end of his life, but he, he kept going. He said, Winston Churchill said, never, never live, do, give up. And he, he had always been uh, not overweight, but had a little punch belly on him, but he lost a lot of weight at the end of his life. And his face became so young and so beautiful. It was amazing, this transformation that he would, when he was alive, he would hide the connection that he felt with the filmmakers. He, he was always, I'll go backwards again, he was always very um, self-effacing. He would do so many things and not take credit, credit for them. And he just wanted the filmmakers to get all the credit. And they had, they had um, a dinner that he organized the whole dinner and they, they had prize, gave awards to the, to the um, people who preserve film, all over the film from MGM, United Pictures, all over, and Jonas, and, and he spoke, and they had from the avant-garde, from Hollywood, he brought them all together. And that was Robert, he brought people together, just the way we, he brought me together with him. And this is this love, my love letter to Robert. He was so beautiful, and that beauty, beauty shone more and more towards the end of his life. And he, he now he has this wonderful tribute to him that I'm happy I can contribute this love letter to. Thank you very much. Okay, it's wonderful. Oh, thank you. Okay.